Coming up on today's video, I take a look at the new Adobe Photoshop camera app. So I know what you're thinking, do we really need another camera app that offers filters? Well, this is a little bit different as Adobe have created a camera app that uses its incredibly smart AI. And that allows it to do some really funky things like replace the sky. If you've ever been out and about on an overcast day and you've taken a really nice photo, but it's spoiled by gray skies, you know that this can be a real pain to try and actually manually replace this. So this camera app looks to do away with all that pain completely by using the AI to detect where the sky is and put in place something a lot more attractive. If you're new to my channel, my name is Mark. I do tech reviews, product reviews, software reviews, and app reviews. So this app is really easy to use. It's free to download on both Android and Apple devices. Simply install it, fire it up. If you're using one of the sky replacements, simply point it up, it will auto detect the sky and cut that out and show you in real time what the replacement sky will look like. You'll notice there's a little glow around objects and that's because it is detecting those objects and showing you where the border is. Once you've taken the photo, that completely goes and it looks like a very natural sky replacement. As my garden's a little bit limited in terms of skyline, I went for a little wander, had a play, and I have to say it does a really good job it's replacing the skyline. So this is actually my normal place where I test zooms on cameras. We've got this funky little pyramid, glass pyramid structure, and I thought this would be perfect to replace the sky with. So you've got natural skies if you just want lovely cloudy blue skies, or you can go for something a little bit more funky. What's great about this, you'll see that I'm taking photos as I go along, but actually I didn't need to do that. All I needed to do was take a single photo, come back into the app, and then I could have swapped out that background for any of these that you're seeing on screen now. So when you're in the app, if you've decided you like a photo but it needs a bit of adjustment, not a problem, you can open it up, hit the lenses button. Each filter has its own individual settings. So on this one, it's made it quite dark, so we can light that up and we can reduce that filter intensity. So now you can see me a bit clearer. But what if you didn't like that background? Well, not a problem. You can then change the filter that's been used in the background. This can also work with pictures you didn't take with the app. So here's a photo I took on a night test. It's got a magic fix button at the top. You can apply filters. So again, this is uh, probably a good one to try the sky with. And these objects are movable. So if you use two fingers, you can change the size and placement of the objects. It's not just on background skies. It also works on face pictures as well. You see it's cut out the background and slapped me on a couple of funky backgrounds instead. And each of these has its own set of settings for you to play with. So there's a huge amount you can do with this. The filters are all arranged along the bottom and if you scroll all the way across to the right you can add more. Any you've got installed will say open on them. Any you can install will say details. Click that button, click add lens and it's then available. I really like the look of these i love the fact it color grades as well as adding the different effects and i think overall this is a great little app to experiment with when you're done you can either export to social media or you can export to the mobile version of photoshop for even further tinkering editing whatever else you need to do give the app a go tag me on instagram i hope you found this video interesting thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one